build unique tickers for your Shopify store with the ticker element. To understand the ins and outs of this feature, we're going to build the ticker we can see right here from scratch. To get started, let's head over to the insert panel, then go to element and under interactive, we can find the new ticker element. Let's drag and drop this onto our page and delete the existing one. Within the ticker, we can drop any element we want from text or an icon, as we can see right here. But you can also drag in a YouTube video or anything else that you have built. For this sticker, we have free shipping in Europe. And we also have a 10% discount on all products, 10% discount. And instead of the heart, I want a nice dot. So let's go and select the circle. There we go. And also duplicate this circle element. And I think we can make it a bit smaller. 10 by 10 should be fine. Also the other one. And I believe the text can also be a bit smaller. Right now it's 24 pixels. Let's change it to 20. This looks good. And 20. Before we start customizing this sticker further, it's important to note that the ticker will only move in the preview mode. So whenever we're editing, it's not moving, but when we click on preview, we can see exactly what we're creating. Now let's customize. If we select the ticker, then in the panel on the right, we have a bunch of different customization options. First of all, we can navigate to different elements within the ticker. Then we have direction and with direction, you can select whether the ticker scrolls to the right or to the left. Right now it's set to the left. If we preview, indeed, all the elements within the ticker move to the left. And then if we click on right, the elements will move to the right. Next, we have a line. With a line, we can determine whether we want all the elements within the ticker to align from the top, from the middle or the bottom. Then we have gap. With gap, we can adjust the amount of gap that exists between different elements. Right now it's set to 16, but if we change this to 80, let's say we see that it changes the amount of gap there is between elements. Then we have speed with which we can determine how fast the elements move. One being very slow. So let's change this indeed to one and preview. It moves very, very slow and 200 being very, very fast. As you can see right here. Last but not least, we have pause. When pause is set to no and the user scrolls over the ticker element, nothing will happen. When pause is set to on hover, whenever a user hovers over the ticker element, the ticker will pause. And this is just a simple yet effective ticker, but the possibilities are limitless. For example, in the wireframe kit that we can select right here, under social proof, we have this very advanced sticker that shows user generated content on Twitter. So if we preview, we can see that this is a pretty advanced ticker element with one row moving to the left and the other one to the right. And this is just to showcase that literally anything is possible for you to build with this new ticker element. I hope after watching this video that you understand the fundamentals of how the ticker element works and good luck.